Zanardi all the way through the latter part of this race kept it up there and I think uh, Zanardi will be as disappointed as anybody he must have enjoyed the battle with Mark Blundell here today Zanardi loves his racing he's a he's a true racer has a passion for the sport just loves it enjoys himself all the time he'll have relished the uh, battle that he had with Mark Blundell today and he'll be I think he'll be as gutted as anybody to see him pull off at the side about that uh, gutted but uh, he'd be uh, pretty happy with himself he's certainly driven beautifully this afternoon himself he'd be thrilled with the pit crew rob hill and co just tremendous work there is jim swintow with the white flag one lap to go just four miles for alex Zanardi. here he goes then alex Zanardi, the championship leader already and he's going to further extend his championship lead after a superb drive here this afternoon pack west hopefully touch wood will still pick up points for second place courtesy of Maurizio Gujamin and what it will do is give Gilles de Ferran a few more points for moving him up into third place in the table and that will of course mean that Gilles de Ferran moves up to second place in the championship moving ahead of Paul Tracy so that's good news for Gilles de Ferran at Mark Lundell's demise but uh, still a sad way for it to happen Fiddy Pauldi's now moved up to fourth Scott Pruitt up to fifth and Bobby Rahal is now in sixth place. But let's just enjoy this final lap with the Italian who really is the master of the art in the kart series at the moment, isn't he? He's just uh, driven so superbly over the last few weekends. Victory in the US 500 at Michigan. Victory on a completely different kind of track in mid-Ohio. And then victory here at Road America by the looks of things. A similar, more similar circuit to what he's used to from Europe but he's won on every kind of track in the kart series this year, on street track, on oval, and on normal road course. And Alex Zanardi is proving to be a real star over here in America. Here he comes down towards the final few corners in front of the crowd down at Canada Corner. They'll be giving him a great cheer as he goes past. You know, he was on American TV just a few days ago. He was on uh, the TV Food Network cooking his favorite pasta dish. That's how much of an American he's becoming. He's uh, even appearing in uh, primetime TV shows. And here he comes to complete the final lap and win his fourth race of the season, his fifth race, rather, of the season. Win number five for Alex Zanardi. He comes up the cross-checker flag. Zanardi takes victory. Another dominant performance. And the Ganassi team are heading for their second championship. Brian Herter is off at the side of the road he was running in ninth place what has happened to Brian Herter surely not another disaster in this race full of drama yeah he'd been struggling the last few nights I don't know what it was he'd slipped back behind Jimmy Vassar and actually fallen quite a long way behind but there is the target Chip Ganassi crew jubilation there and once again an example of how teamwork is so crucial in the PPG Kart World Series it's the team that won this race today every bit as much as Alex Zanardi they prepared a perfect race car for him he drove the wheels off the thing and the pit crew was magnificent two passes crucial passes position in the pits and Alex Zanardi did the rest yeah fantastic performance uh, great disappointment for Mark Blundell and disappointment to the here he goes look he's doing the donuts again now I was told he was gonna get into trouble if he did those again but he just can't help himself can he down there at uh, turn five good crowd up on the back things and that is wonderful isn't it he uh, really does love it and it's great to see a driver celebrating and enjoying himself a little bit like Michael Schumacher does in Formula One there's never there's never any hiding of the delight in winning a motor race oh dear I'll tell you what uh, as, as that's happening there, the two cars came past here, Gualter Salas and PJ Jones in a battle for position, actually in 13th place, inches apart, those two drivers were as they came across start finish line. But there is Alex Zanardi, he is the hero of the moment. Another brilliant drive by the Italian driver, a commanding lead, he now holds in the PPG Kart World Series Championship, just three races to go. Once again, in victory lane, it's become a familiar scene. Alex Zanardi enjoying the jubilation that goes along with a tremendous run now that's seen him win for the last five and five on the year. They didn't want him to spin donuts, the card officials. The crew, has, all of them got donuts in hand. Alex has got one here now. They're going to enjoy this moment one way or another. And a donut salute here as he was out there on the cool down lap. This fun-loving Italian has a good time no matter where he is in the race track. Why not with the success? Alex saluting his crew. Tell us about this one and how tough was it to be patient today to not make a mistake? It was very difficult, Gary. 
I sorry, I know he's not a good manner to talk with your master, but we don't we'll know forgive you time. this time. Huh? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I did some mistakes, and fortunately enough, I was able to come back all the time. I think we won the race in the pits today. We we passed both guys in, into the pits, and uh, I mean. I'm expecting this or something more from my boys. That is that terrific. That last pit stop was under 11 seconds. Blundell had his service complete, was closing on pit road, and then suddenly there you were with the advantage. Must have been a great feeling to look in your mirror and see him. Well, I don't know whether that decision was took from Chip or who on the target Chip the next edition, but they decided to leave me out with the same set of tires. Firestone has gave us such a tire that um, we can do the old race and they're probably good for Vancouver as well. So we didn't change tire, we just put fuel in and that's how we beat uh, um, Mark. But uh, hey, the motor was pushing very well, you know, so I'm very happy. I mean, Honda is pushing hard, Firestone is pushing hard, Target Ganesivation is pushing hard. I do my part. And there you are with a chance now to wrap up a championship at Vancouver the next race in two weeks. Yeah, well, I don't want to think about that, but anyways, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Yes, indeed. Marty Reed. Yes, we're over here with uh, Mo Gojelman, who's putting on a jacket. Go ahead if you need to button it up, because I know it's getting kind of damp and uh, very breezy for you. So close again, second place. Take us through. Uh, were you having heart failure when you saw Blundell go up, thinking maybe it might happen to you too? Uh, Got my concern. I had a problem in qualifying. Actually, on, on, on time on Friday, I had a problem, but unfortunately, it happened to him this time. I was running very hard in the beginning, and the car was running well for a few less, but then I started losing traction, and I couldn't really run with those guys, either Zanardi or Mark. But in the end, I just got a lucky break. It was unfortunate for Mark. As far as uh, this race, though, I mean, are you getting to the point where you are wondering if you're ever going to get that victory? You bet I'm going to get. You just keep working up there. We got pole and we got second today. We quite didn't quite have the car for the win, but we keep hammering up there. We're going to get one. All right. Mo Gulgeman, second place. Bob? So Maurizio Gulgeman uh, taking that fine second position, but uh, what a shame to lose Mark Bundell in the closing stages. There you are. Zanardi, the winner from Gulgeman to Ferran. Philippe Aldi next up from Pruitt and Ray Hall, then Anser heading up the next list from Vassa, Hearn, Fangio. Up in 10th place, great performance from Fangio, ahead of Herta Fernandez, and they were the last point scorers. There you are, 16th place for Mark Blundell, classified as in the end after the engine failed, and uh, so three laps down on the winner in the end. But uh, some more disappointments for the likes of Paul Tracy, Michael Andretti and Dario Franchitti today. There is the points table. And uh, some 38 points, in fact, ahead of Gilles de Ferran for Alex Zanardi. Paul Tracy moves back to third place in the series now. Greg Moore didn't score. Michael Andretti didn't score today. But Scott Pruitt did score, and he has moved himself into sixth place in the table. But things are looking great for Alex Zanardi as the donut celebration continues. And with just three races to go on the streets of Vancouver, on the racetrack at Laguna Seca, where he took a dramatic win last year, and on the super speedway in Fontana, surely nobody can bet against this man for winning the championship. Hope you've enjoyed the program. Sorry about all the delays. Is the fact uh, we couldn't quite bring it live to you. But from Ben Edwards and Jeremy Shaw, we'll see you in two weeks' time in Vancouver. Join us then.